Look at that peak! Oh my gosh! What? What? That would look sick! We're out here at Cape Point in Buxton, what I would say is the craziest sandbar in the world. the best thing ever yesterday we came out here two jacked up pickup trucks buried. huge tires both buried next to each other <laughs> looks like some swell out there because there was a really good wedge further out i was like all right i'm gonna just like drift out there and catch one in and like as i'm drifting out there i look and i see something i just see a fan of water shooting off i was like what's doing that but there was a wave in between us and i go over the wave and it's a shark fin Tail, like dorsal and tail fin just bolting through the water like it was chasing bait. <laughs> I scrambled out of there. <laughs> I was like, oh, this just got real. Game over. Well, look at a little right. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Said I really wanted it to be sunny so that it wasn't like dark and ominous and I'm sharky. Going water. You're not? <laughs> not anytime soon. Why? I want a little more sunshine. I don't think that's gonna happen. With the sharks? With the sharks. Yeah, but the water's greener. That green water pushed so I can in. See them coming. <laughs> well, good morning, you guys. We're out here at Cape Point in Buxton. What I would say is the craziest sandbar in the world. It is just wild how many different waves this bit of sand produces throughout a year, throughout my lifetime, from Shelly Island, 2017. to crazy perfect point break setup back in 2011. And countless times it's like done little novelty stuff like this. Look at the What? Look at the deep What was that? Are you kidding me? Look at it up top, dude. That up top section's sick.
it's wild but last fall it set up to where there were wedging peaks over here on the south side And I'd never seen it do that. I didn't think it ever would again. But here we are, August 2020, and it's doing it again. So the other night, came out here with the family, and this, this right out here was a dream. Just perfect right hand point break. It was so rad. crazy or what mm -hmm. and then last night we came out again and over on this side was like crazy wedges and I wasn't prepared had no cameras uh, me and Jason Forrest and Brandon Duke went out and I just rode the soft top got a couple pits actually got chased in by a shark uh, my friend Kevin McCabe said there's tons and tons of sharks out here right now so we're going to like wearily go out because there are some nice wedges and tubes coming in it's not quite as clean as I was expecting but you guys this is like the most special piece of sand and uh, welcome to the craziest sandbar in the world. Oh, look at this wedge coming in. Look at that peak. Oh my gosh. What? That would look, that would look sick. Oh. That left looked good. So you're saying there's a chance.
15, I've looked back at the section and like, dude, I got like six barrels, did like four or five airs, you know, loving, just went in after wave with my friends. <laughs> That was a lot of fun, even though it was kind of short-lived because the wind came around more side shore than expected. And uh, yeah, I was just stoked to really dive in and show you guys how special that strip of sand is and also how fickle it is. The sand changes every single day. Um, the shore break this morning was a completely different setup than the shore break last night. It just is what it is. Like there's two currents colliding and every day is different. Yeah, it's wild. What's rad is that even though you score it one day and conditions line up for the next day, you might not score it. And that's, it's just crazy fickle. And I feel like years ago, it broke less often than it does now. And it, it seems like in the last few years, it's been setting up more favorably than it ever used to. But it, it's always changing. I mean, when you look at the Google Earth time-lapse of it out there, it's just wild the different shapes it's taken over the years and growing a mile out and, and eroding a mile and a half back and just this way and that way. And yeah, it's really special. It's gotta be one of the most crazy sandbar setups in the world. And the fact that sometimes it's a right point, sometimes it's a left point, sometimes it's shore break, sometimes it's way out, sometimes it's nothing. <laughs> and then sometimes it's like peaky shore break A-frames. Like it literally can do it all. And, um, Scoring it is very hard. Even living right here in Buxton, it just changes so much. Yeah, if you're not out there looking at it, you might miss the window. And um, that's what's cool. I love, this whole island is like that in general, but then the point is even more so. And it's one of the top fishing destinations here on the East Coast to go and you can catch big drum from the sand. And I mean, as you saw, there was a ton of people out there fishing for Spanish mackerel. We tried there at the end, but no luck. Um, but yeah, I just, that's a special place out there, watching the sunsets, watching the sunrises, going out with the family, having cookouts, and scoring waves randomly when the sand just happens to set up right. And who knows how long it'll last. It honestly might not even be there by the time this video comes out. But yeah, stuck to take y'all along and dive into what is like possibly one of the craziest sandbars in the world. Anyway, had fun, and now, I'm gonna go inside, get some food, and let you guys go from here. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Appreciate all the support. For those of you who haven't been, be sure to hit subscribe so you can follow along, and the rest of y'all know the deal. See y'all next time. Yeah.